if we can get some of those children and teach them and train them, and then they will go home and tell their parents what they have learned. That's the gospel. Hello, friends. In this season of Mission Viewfinder, we are visiting Kamai Country. Why don't you join us? Our main purpose is to film three mission projects, and we'll also meet butterflies, a baby crocodile, and a lot of mud. We're out here in the countryside. We are loving it. And we also get to stay in this lovely little, not too little, but anyway, kind of that chest. Yeah, that's where the missionary family that's here right now is living. As I was going through the village every single day, I realized there's a lot of babies in the community. There's approximately 100 children between the ages of zero and 12. And they have a school here, but there's, uh, there's different things that's going on with the school. And so I figured we should do a school from elementary all the way through high school to meet the needs of the community. Cause I feel like if we can get some of those children and teach them and train them, and then they will go home and tell their parents what they have learned. That's the gospel. We have a group of young people that are gonna be teachers that wanna teach at our school. So right now, we've built bamboo huts like the one you see behind us, it's my current home. And we have everybody on the property at this time and we're teaching them English so that they will be prepared to go overseas and uh, learn so they can come back and teach. So definitely, we do film on these trips, but sometimes you just have to do this. Why wouldn't you look on the windshield? <laughs> Jonathan and I have been arguing about which side of the road is the correct side to drive on, and evidently um, Cambodians drive on the right side of the road. No, <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> The following year, he prayed for two souls a day. And that year, 800 people. And the following year, he, you know, he, he made this, he said, he made this thing, he said, he, he demanded of God, give me soul, God, or I die. And in that prayer, he said, I wanted four souls a day. And four souls a day came. And shortly after, I think at the age of 47, he died. This church here it was a nice little service. Um, definitely more primitive than what most of us are used to, though, from America at least. We had some very flat chairs today. This is also our Sabbath lunch table, too, though. It'll be good. Very good. These are These are
There we go. Oh, he has a beard now. <laughs> you have <laughs> <laughs>